Hello YouTube, in this video I'm going to show you how to install Cura software and arrange the parameters for 3D printing with Creality CR10. It's very easy, very straightforward and everything is out there for us. First of all, go to Ultimaker Cura software webpage and download the most up-to-date version of the Cura which is 3.1. This software is as you can see for free and it has versions for macOS and Windows. When you open software, you will see a screen for adding a printer. Since I have already installed Cura and predefined 3D printer this is what I see when I first open it so let's go to settings printer and click add printer this is the page you will see when you first open the software in here go to other and go find Creality CR10 and hit add printer when you click add printer you will face with the build volume of the Creality CR10 so first of all let us add a print inside our build volume go to file and open files and select the object that you want to 3d print in STL file and here is our banshee you can move this one with the arrows or by just holding it and you can scale it in the way that you want or you can rotate it in the orientation that you want and you can mirror it in the orientations that again you want let's continue with the settings that we are going to use the good thing is Creality CR10 is already coming with a built-in parameters so that you don't need to tweak them if you don't want to but all these parameters are depending on your own taste so let me share some of the parameters that I'm generally using. So when we first open this, you're probably gonna see the recommended print setup, which is this one. But if you want to dig down more, go to the custom and let's start tweaking the settings. In here, you will see fine, low quality, draft quality, all these different kind of settings and you can change them. Let's go with the fine. And I'm going to change the layer height into 0.08, which I generally use. So 0.1 is fine quality, 0.06 is extra fine quality, but I would like to go with 0.08 which is in between in here under the shell you see wall thicknesses and top bottom thicknesses wall thickness is basically the thickness of the walls in the horizontal direction this value divided by the wall line width defines the number of walls the top and bottom thicknesses variable is changing the thicknesses of the top and bottom layers in the print this value is divided by the layer height that defines the number of top and bottom layers Infill density is really depending on how much material you want to use inside of it. If you want your object to be tough, you can go over 50%. But if you want to get the job done, you can keep it 20 or 25. In general, I use 25. So the print temperature is 200 is okay, but you can make it 203. Build temperature 60 Celsius is okay too, but in general, I use 65 because according to my experiences, I get very less warping at 65 Celsius build plate temperature. Since we have a huge build plate, we are losing lots of heat from our surface. Surface. That's why 65 might be doing the job better, but you can experiment it and find out the correct temperature for yourself. And our material diameter 1.75, flow is 100%, we will have retraction enabled. Print speed, 60 mm per second is really good print speed, but if you want high details, you can lower this speed down to 45 mm per second. It depends on your taste. You can experiment with these values and see, but I will keep it at 60 mm per second for the speed. And I'm going to keep the level speed as is 120 mm per second because I don't want my print to take too much hours and enable print cooling yes of course for this banshee I don't need to generate any sports but you can click it if you want to use generate sport and build plate adhesion type I generally use that 5 mm brim and print sequence is all at once not once at a time all at once if you want to use the sport option and click generate sport and make the sport placement into everywhere what you can do to see the sports is basically come over here into the solid view and go to the layer view when you go to the layer view you will be able to see the sports structures and how they are going to be placed so let's go back to the down section so this is the brim structure and then as you can see the sport materials are built outside the ship and also inside its cage when you flicker show helpers you can see where the Jura is using the materials to support your print along with the brim structure let's go back to the solid view and this is how our print is gonna look and it will take us 2 hours and 26 minutes which is going to be 8 grams and it's gonna use 2.83 meter of a material after that click save to file and select where you would like to save it in general it's going to be your micro SD card
card and your file is ready to be 3D printed. All these settings that I have gone over are the parameters that you can tweak and learn by experimenting. So these are not exactly the best settings. These are the settings that came within the Ultimaker Cura software that are already being prepared for Creality CR10. So these are basically factory settings. Start experimenting with them so that you can see the effect of each variable and what's going to happen to your end product. So this is it guys. This is the end of my video for Creality CR10 Jura settings. I hope you like it. If so, please hit the like button. And it's always free to subscribe. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and keep updated with the upcoming videos.